In the previous video, we installed Blog Engine from Azure Application Gallery. By default, it installs using XML data provider, which is fine if you have a smaller blog, but if you want to scale better, you probably want to go with a database as your data provider. Right now, if I look under connection strings in my website, there's nothing in there because there is no database associated with this website. Uh, before I create new database, I want to uh, launch Webmetrics tool and if you don't have it installed, it will, prom it will prompt you to, uh, to, to download and install uh, Webmetrics on your local computer. Uh, this is a uh, tool that you can use instead of Visual Studio to quickly uh, update and edit any files on your website. Uh, right here I can select if I want to, uh, to edit websites directly on the web server or I want to pull it to my uh, local computer drive and I just want to uh, manipulate like my uh, remote files from here. So I'm looking for uh, SQL servers uh, scripts and uh, this is under setup under SQL server and I'm looking for version 2.8. If I open the script, this is uh, all the uh, script that I need to execute on my server to create uh, tables and populate with the initial data. And if I go back to Azure, here I can create a new database. I have to create new database. Uh, this is a SQL Server database. I select custom, uh, give it a name, a B block, which is the same as uh, my website name. I want to create a new uh, database server. A login name, just be block to make it simple. I'll give it a password. Looks good, and just click a create. Okay, here we can see that database is uh, created. Now I go to my database, and there is a number of options available for me here. What I'm going to use is uh, run SQL scripts against database. I select it, uh, click OK to open up port for my connection and wait until it loaded. Uh, it will also ask me about my username and password. Uh, I'm, I don't have username so I have to look it up in the uh, database under connection strings. So here there is a user ID that I just copy and paste to uh, username for for that form and the password is the same that was used when database was created Okay, this window is where I can run queries against database. So I go to web metrics and uh, copy script that needs to be executed for uh, for blog engine 2.8. So I paste it in this window and simply run it. What it will do, it will uh, it will create tables and uh, some initial data used by application. It doesn't take very long, and when it's done, I'll just uh, scroll to see if there's any errors during execution. And if there is no errors, I simply close this because I don't need it anymore. So now my database is ready. It has uh, tables, it has data, and it basically is ready to go. But if I go to my website, 
and uh, look at the connection strings again, nothing is here. This is because my database is totally separate from my website and I need to link them together. So I go and create the link resource, uh, select my database, provide password, and save. Okay, now these two linked. And what that really means is that, for example, if I go back to a website and look at my connection strings again, here you see it. So I just copy connection string and go back to web matrix and use this connection string in my web config to point to the database. Here is a section uh, called connection strings, and as you can see, there is a sample string that just commented out. So I uncomment it, and I replace it with the one that I just copied from the Azure. And the other one usually used for local connection to SQL Express, and I don't need it right now, so I'll just uh, remove it. So now connection string set up, and what I need to do else is that I there's a uh, XML block provider right now as a default, so I switch it to DB block provider, and uh, there's also sections for membership and roles. So I uncomment entries for database and I set default provider to database for membership and do the same for, for roles. So my user and roles data will be saved in the database instead of the XML files. Uh, that's it here, so I'll just save it. and go back again to my website and refresh it. Because web metrics saves data straight to the remote site, uh, what I expect to see is that this welcome to blogengine.net 2.8 entry, which is a default entry for XML uh, data provider, will go away and I should see a blog post about that it is using the Microsoft SQL Server provider. And this is what you see here. So we are using SQL Server on Azure.